Now, Bush the Darker, otherwise known as Obama, <laughs> he might have run for president on the anti-war platform, didn't vote for military engagement in Iraq, didn't vote for the war resolution. Hell, he knew if he got to be president, he'd be taking orders from us, from the moguls of the military-industrial elite. He knew he'd be ramping up the war in Afghanistan. In fact, he even said so when he was running for president. Said Afghanistan is going to be my focus. So he dials down Iraq a little bit and ramps up Afghanistan. The Bush, the darker war. That's what I'm talking about. Then along comes our armed insurrection in Libya, disguised as a popular uprising. Of course it's a popular uprising. It's popular with us, with the Republicans waiting in the wings, ready to sell weapons to the United States military, and to the Allies, and to the United Nations forces. That's right, that's who it's popular with. So anyways, Obama lets the U.N. Charter be his marching orders now. We got the U.N. in our pocket. We've had them in our pockets for many, many years. They do exactly what we want them to do. We get them false flag operations going for Korea, Vietnam, Iraq. We arm the insurgents, we get things going, we torch that kinder box, that powder keg of rebellion under the flag of emerging democracy. And the United Nations goes, ooh, ooh, emerging democracy. We have to protect emerging democracy. Oh, and it works the same in any country, anywhere we want to topple a dictator. We just get one of them little armed insurrections going. And it's one of the false flag operations that we call a democratic revolution. And the, re and the people of the Western United States and the United Nations, they just go, ooh, they get all tingly. They get all, they get all hard nipply. They just want to see that emerging democracy take hold like a little seedling. And we know what it's all about. It's about replacing that strong man with another one, or with chaos. Chaos, because chaos is really profitable. <laughs> That's right. And there ain't no such thing as an emerging democracy anyway in the Middle East. There's only such thing as emergency democracies. <laughs> That's what, uh, that's what they got over there. Dick Cheney was right. They need a strong man. They need their dictators over there to keep some kind of order. Because that's just the way it is in the Middle East. You take away their strong man, you got yourself chaos. Look at Egypt. They got rid of Mubarak, and the Egyptian military took over temporarily. Well, guess who's still in control? That's right, the Egyptian military. And they're knocking heads. And there's all kinds of crap going on still behind the scenes because they need a strong man to, to keep things in order over there. And they know it, and the militaries in the Middle East know it, and we know it. And we love strong men, and we love the armies, because we sell them weapons. You got your emerging, or should I say emergency, democracy trying to take hold. Our corporations go in, start carving up the country, taking what we want. Been doing it for decades. You know it. And I know it, and my company CEOs know it, and all my Republican buddies at the country clubs know it. So, so there you go, you little eleven liberal donkey crats, voting for Obama, ain't you happy? 
you got yourself a nice commander in chief. Or should I say, we have. <laughs>